the 2013 Australian Open is only days away. It starts here at the Darabin International Sports Centre on Sunday morning at 8.30 with a full day's play of the first round of men's singles for the most lucrative bowls event held in Australia every year. I'm joined here by the Chief Executive Officer of Bowls Australia, Neil Dowrymple, ahead of the big event. And Neil, as we can see behind us, the event's starting to come together already for Sunday morning. No, it is, Andrew, and looking uh, fantastic. Hopefully the weather holds, uh, holds off for the week, but uh, now we've got great fields, uh, many disciplines. Uh, it's great to see so many people coming out and entering this event. So um, hopeful for some great matches, some great finals on television, and um, a really good week all round for bowls. Can you recall an Australian Open that's been so, I suppose, star-studded with the likes of uh, national coach Steve Glasson in the singles, draw Kelvin Kirko, um, past winners, uh, Lindsay Armitage, Mark Casey are back to defend their titles, and we've got the entire World Championship Jackaroo team also competing in both the men's and women's singles. Yeah, no, that's a strong domestic field. I suppose we always liked a few more overseas visitors, but we've still got a few here in the field. But no, great to see their world champions uh, in the field, and I'm sure they'll go very well, and uh, hopefully they perform well on the greens here at Darabin. The schedule now says that we will play the men's and women's singles finals next Friday, that's the, uh, the 22nd of, of February, and then we conclude Saturday afternoon with some uh, pairs and triples events, but the, the Blue Ribbon events, the men's and women's singles finals, uh, Friday morning for the uh, for the women's and the men's uh, Friday afternoon. Yep, that's correct. A bit of a change in the schedule. Uh, means some team events on the final day, but uh, I think it gives a chance for people to come out and see those, uh, as you say, the Blue Ribbon events on, on Friday. But um, look, all in all, the finals will be hotly contested and um, hopefully uh, we'll see some fantastic matches. Now, we've got a new initiative again this year, given that uh, uh, we've introduced uh, here at Bowls Australia a, uh, a no-ticket um, policy or concept for the 2013 event but as you can see here next to us we've uh, we've changed it up a little bit and we're asking people who attend the event to not buy a ticket but to give generously to this disaster relief fund that Bowls Australia yeah. set up. Look and uh, Andrew is uh, a couple of years ago when the uh, we had some uh, terrible floods in Queensland we've had uh, bushfires across Australia uh, the bowls clubs have been affected over this period and uh, a couple of years ago as I say uh, bowls Australia set up established the uh, disaster relief fund and we were able to distribute a number of uh, dollars uh, to bowls clubs in need and we'd like to continue this uh, approach during the Australian Open and obviously encourage all that come out to the AO to actually donate for this uh, relief fund and then we can certainly make some allocations out to those clubs in need. A number of a, a good example is Bagara Bowls Club in, uh, in Bundaberg has been significantly hit and uh, they, they're certainly one of many clubs that would be uh, hopeful of uh, an allocation of this funding. And we are talking about some clubs who, who actually may struggle to even open their doors again. We hope they do and they need some funds and this is a community based sport with community support for other people in your bowls community. Yep. But some of these clubs have been hit by tornadoes and have been completely wiped the ground mm. and may not ever be able to open their doors again. No, and look it's really disappointing not only for the people within those clubs but obviously for those communities because it's not, bowls obviously touches more than just those people that actually put a bowl down. Uh, those venues uh, are used throughout the communities uh, by many, many groups and uh, so we hope to help in some way get them back uh, up, up and going again. We call it a gold coin donation, but we do hope that people can find something a little bit bigger. You've only got a gold coin, nothing bigger in your pocket. No, no, I'm actually usually a bit of shrapnel, that's about all that I can uh, manage. But uh, I suppose I'm happy to uh, start this uh, fund off and, uh, and contribute to, the, um, to our disaster relief fund for the, during the Australian Open. Give us our first gold coin donation here, Neil. Thanks, Andrew. In a uh, ceremonial uh, dropping Ooh. of the $2 coin. Nice rattle. So that's what people will need to do as they come through the gates here uh, at Darabin over the next uh, seven days for the 2013 Australian Open. A gold coin donation to see Australia's best bowlers compete for our national prize.